Students, I am talking about another book that you may want to choose for your literature circles. This one is called Bomb, and it's by Steve Schinken. And it is nonfiction, meaning it is all true. It all happened. Uh, on the cover, it says, The Race to Build and Steal the World's Most Dangerous Weapon. On the back, it says, In December 1938, a chemist in a German laboratory made a shocking discovery. When placed next to a radioactive material, a uranium atom split in two. That simple discovery, dealing with the tiniest of particles, launched a cutthroat race that would span three continents. The players were the greatest scientists, expert spies, hardened military commandos, and some of the most ruthless dictators who ever lived. The prize? Military dominance over the entire world. This is the story of the plotting, the risk-taking, the deceit, and the genius that created the world's most formidable weapon. This is the story of the atomic bomb. And now I will read a little bit of the first page. He had a few more minutes to destroy 17 years of evidence. Still in pajamas, Harry Gold raced around his cluttered bedroom, pulling out desk drawers, tossing boxes out of the closet, and yanking books from the shelves. He was horrified. Everywhere he looked were incriminating papers, a plane ticket stub, a secret report, a letter from a fellow spy. Gold ripped the papers to shreds, carried two fistfuls to the bathroom, shoved them into the toilet, and flushed. Then he ran back to his bedroom, grabbed the rest of the pile, and stumbled on slippers down the stairs to the cellar, where he pushed the stuff to the bottom of an overflowing garbage can. The doorbell rang. Gold walked to the door. He took a few deep breaths, trying to slow his heartbeat, then opened the door and saw the men he expected. Federal Bureau of Investigation Agent Scott Miller and Richard Brennan. They'd been questioning Gold for days, showing him pictures of known spies, demanding information about his connection to these people. It goes on to talk about uh, all of the Russian spies that were going on, trying to figure out how they could steal information on making the atomic bomb. It also talks about and shows us a saboteur group that had to parachute into uh, a country in Europe to try and blow up a heavy water plant so they could slow down Germany's progress in developing the atomic bomb. Uh, and it talks about Dr. Oppenheimer and his progress making the atomic bomb for the United States. Uh, I normally don't like nonfiction that much, but this one was very interesting and has a great story. I highly recommend it.